Man, this is a guy named Self Talk. Um, this dude made a collage of Charlemagne the God. Of all these different clips of Charlemagne the God, basically talking about um, putting stuff in women drink, all type of crazy stuff, right? So it's like, man, salute to that brother, man. It's a dude named Self Talk. If y'all guys can go over to his page and check him out, I'm not gonna repost his content, but man, it, it really, really, it really, really, it. it <laughs> It made me look at it like, man, Charlamagne the God, you is a bold dude. Like, you really, really uh, put stuff in women drink. You talk about gagging them and and, and doing the hard R word to them. You know what I'm saying? It's like, man, or you said you you can't you can't R A P E the willing is what you said, right? So it's just kind of like, I don't know, man. I don't. It's crazy, man. I want y'all. I want y'all, man. To go over the years. I want y'all to go to YouTube right now and just type uh, different interviews in which Charlamagne the guy talk about sexual assault women and putting something they drink. I mean, he speaks boldly about doing this type of stuff to women, and it's like it's almost as if, it's almost as if it's like it's a joke to him, or it was a joke to him all this time. I bet you now you'll never hear him say it again. But how could you have a history the way he's had, um, and knowing that it's a Jessica Reed somewhere in the world? You know, so he just, he expected her voice to be silenced forever. Because for him to still walk away so boldly, knowing he's protected by the higher ups, and uh, and speak the way he has on, on, about doing stuff and putting stuff in women drinks, um, it's amazing, man. Like it, it's almost borderline scary. Like it's almost borderline. Like you know what I'm saying? These women, all these women, along along the process of being around a guy like Charlamagne, or even a guy that's having that type of mindset, or putting that out, or spewing it out to the world. You gotta understand, the Breakfast Club is over. A syndicated radio show over a lot of places all across the all across America and so on and so forth. You know what I'm saying? So even if Jessica Reed's story never came up or never came about, he'd be on a radio, um, putting out that type of um destruction almost like you know what I'm saying? Uh you seen on Brilliant Idiots where he talked about uh putting Spanish fly in another woman drinks, so on and so forth. He talked about how, you know what I'm saying, if it's him and his wife, you can't har or the willing. You know what I'm saying? He said, like, basically, you can't sexual assault the willing. You know what I'm saying? If they're willing to do it, or they're willing to get some in their drink or so on and so forth, you know what I'm saying? You can't sexually assault them if you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's a, he's really, dude, you really a strange dude. You know what I'm saying? Charlemagne, no more Charlemagne to God. I'm sorry, y'all. Charlemagne. You know what I'm saying? Man, hey, dudes like you is a danger to our young ladies today. You see what I'm saying? Dudes like you that speak so boldly about putting something in a woman's drink, that speak so boldly about, um, doing different things to a woman against her will you see what i'm saying um it's scary i believe it was candy on the show you guys might can look it up i believe it was candy he was talking to um and he talked about you know doing different things gagging them and all this type of stuff and then a dj envy was like man that sound like a little you know what i'm saying like you push the envelope a little bit and candy was like yeah like you know what i'm saying basically like yeah this dude right here he, he a wild dude you know what i'm saying so it's kind of like you know Knowing that you've done things that Jessica Reed and so on and so forth, all in your history of coming up through the radio ranks, you know what I'm saying? And you knowing where you was at, man. Some things I feel like you should have let off of. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you know you, you know you're a, a um, devilish type of guy. You know what I'm saying? And it's not even allegedly because it's clips on Self Talk page. He put the clouds together and saluted that brother for taking that time and doing that. You know what I'm saying? But it just it raises awareness to say, you know, um, guys like Charlemagne the God. Um, the message that he was putting out on that radio show is, is, is scary for a lot of guys that was listening to him. You know what I'm saying? Why would you have such a major platform and spew that type of uh, dangerous type of saying gagging a woman and all this other stuff and putting something in a drink and let me do things to you and uh, like saying that on the radio station live on air on the breakfast club. Now, not the brilliant idiots on the breakfast club, a syndicated radio show all across America. You see what I'm saying? Um, and beyond. Why would you be on a radio show even just putting that message out there so a young guy um, that don't know no better and look up to you and think that that's okay to do? I wonder and I, and I fear how many young men along the process of you being on a breakfast club have listened to you and actually tried to do that to other young ladies. You know, guys we had never hear about, but they heard Charlamagne the God do it. They get inspired by him. And it's like, you know, they gave it a shot, so to speak. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, man, that's dangerous, brother. That message that you're putting across. It's dangerous. And guys like you, I don't understand how do you still be able to be on a radio show till, still to this day. Well, we understand how. But I'm saying, um, I don't understand how it's not an outrage for everybody else that got even these little bitty platforms here. You know what I'm saying? Even guys that got YouTube, so on and so forth. You don't have the master behind your platform, but you have a word. You have a voice. You see what I'm saying? Why ain't everybody across the across the board um, 
on a quest to try to get a guy like Charlamagne the God off of um, a major platform like that, especially being that he was putting that message out there to the young men and to the young ladies and just different things like that. Like that message of putting some in they drinking, you know, man, that's dangerous, man. You know what I'm saying? Like you can really, really uh, forget just trying to have that, that crazy night you're trying to have with that woman uh, in, a, in, a, in a devilish way. You can really hurt that woman in the future. Like, you know, uh, you see Jessica Reed got 20 years from 20 years later. She's still battling that. And her grandmother's, I mean, her mother is still battling that. You see what I'm saying? And not only that, you know, um, you can put some in somebody's drink that can alter their mindset from now on. They can never be the same, you know, or 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 worse, and they lose their life. So it's like that message that you putting out, that narrative that you were spinning off, man. That's it's a dangerous message. And like I said, I just want to tip my hat one more time to self talk, man, for putting that little collage together. It's only a few minutes, uh, but I gotta get that brother credit, man, because you know after hearing about the Jessica Reed story, I was pretty much done with Charlamagne and God. I didn't go Googling or YouTube or hearing nothing else about how he was doing things and putting things in women drinks so on and so forth. Um, I left it alone. I moved on from it. And I was like, you know, periodically, I just a touch basis on his topic of people like Dr. Royce Watkins speaks on behalf of Charlamagne talking about it. Oh, that was 20 years ago. Dudes like that, that I think is, um, uh, condescending or just guys is just, you know, uh, distasteful to the victim. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I spoke on that type of stuff, but when it came to the Charlamagne, Charlamagne, the guy in particular or Charlamagne in particular, you know, I try to leave him alone because guys like that, you know, they dangerous. So it's like, you know, you need to leave them type of dudes. You know, they messes need to go no further than 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 where it's already done being because we don't know how much destruction they done already caused along the way. You get what I'm saying? We don't know how many young men across the board was listening to the Breakfast Club and actually took the things that he was saying uh, to heart and actually took it into consideration and actually started doing that to women because they looking at it like, you know, look at this guy. He's on the radio and even he can say that he do it or will do it. And get away with it you know what i'm saying so it's like i think the message that's being pushed out here to these young people is all wrong i also believe that you know what i'm saying guys like charlamagne the guy still being able to keep his platform still being able to be heard on a syndicated radio show still got his podcast popping it's still going on with life and it's and eventually this will die out and it fizzle out and he will still be the guy that you hear all over the radio making these uh masters or higher up making them a lot of money and he's making a lot of money as well i mean they say he did a lot of things for black brothers but i don't care what you did for nobody right is right and wrong is wrong and you getting them ladies on there smelling j-lo seat when j-lo was there he smelt her seat after she left and even you can google or youtube that and she said that was weird you know what i'm saying like he talked about how when she left the first time he smelt her seat and they got a clip of him actually smelling her seat like you know, I don't know what's going on in his brain or what it is or the faction, the fascination with this type of demonic type of thing he got going on, man. But it's really scary, brother. And it's really a bad message to put across to these kids or put across to the youth, man. Uh, you know, uh, somebody like you is dangerous. You know what I'm saying? To have that type of platform to speak the way you do about the most craziest thing you can do, especially for men to have daughters and care about their daughters and you have daughters. You know what I'm saying? Imagine that all the things you talk about you do to women and putting something in their drink and smelling them, they seed and different things like that when they get up and leave. Imagine if everybody did that to your two and three year old daughters. I don't think you would like that. You know what I'm saying? Charlamagne the guy, you talk about you have anxiety all the time about your daughters. I wonder is that anxiety about because you know all the things you was doing to women and you fear for that somebody would do that back to your daughters. One thing about the universe and one thing about karma, what you put out, it, it finds its way back around to find you again. Let's just hope somebody never do to your daughters what you have allegedly done to a lot of other women or at least Jessica Reed. But what you talking about to Candy and so on and so forth, gagging women and putting something in their drink and things like that uh, on the Breakfast Club and on Brilliant Idiots and so on and so forth. Let's just hope that they don't find you because your daughters don't deserve that and neither do any other woman. Let's be mindful of that. Like, if you haven't already subscribed, if you haven't already, please turn on your post notification. Turn me up right now. And you guys comment below. What do you think about uh, Charlamagne the guy being on the breakfast club and talking about it live on air, talking about putting things in women's drinks and so on and so forth? That's a scary message to be able to put across to millions of uh, listeners all across America and beyond, uh, especially these kids, these young guys that was looking up to him to be able to hear that message. That's scary, brother. I just want to say that, man. You guys like if you haven't already. Always remember, each one teach one. As long as we got each other, we can grow together.